Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Apache, MariaDB or MySQL, PHP and PHMI admin with XAMPP on Windows 10. So let's get started. So go ahead and launch your preferred web browser and then go to apachefrench.org apachefrench.org and then click on this download so this is microsoft windows 10 if you have windows 7 8 8.1 or 10 you should be able to follow the instruction and install php mariadb apache and phpma admin as well so yeah it saves time and also gets you control panel so this is why people love using XM or similar packages to install PHP, Apache, and MySQL. So you can see once you click on this download, you'll get three PHP editions. So I'll go ahead and download this 7.4, which is just fine for my system. You can go ahead and install 7. Point, sorry, 7.3, 7.4, or 8 PHP. It doesn't matter. I'm going to download this 7.4 and you can see it's going to take a few seconds here depending on the internet speed mine is very slow okay so yeah so what I'm going to do after installing this Apache I will set PHP to the systems path so that it can be used by other applications and uh, you can access this from command line similarly with uh, MySQL so that you can access MySQL from command line as well once the download completes simply go ahead and locate it and open it just click on this if you're using Google Chrome and once you get the UAC window click yes okay so uh, the installation process is going to be a bit longer because it's going to do all the heavy lifting for us. All the configuration is done uh, automatically with this package. So this window says that you should not put this XMP in your program files. You should create a separate folder, which is perfectly fine. So say OK. And now this is installation wizard, setup wizard. Say next here you can uncheck whatever you don't need so i don't need these uh pearl is okay but i'm going to uncheck it okay go ahead and click next this is completely up to you this is my personal preference and this is where it's going to be installed in a separate folder called accent you can change it if you wish language is English you can okay it's available in Dutch as well I don't want to learn what Vietnamese so uncheck it and hit install again this is going to take approximately two to three minutes so it's going to unpack everything you can pause the video and once it completes you'll get a finish set a finish successfully wizard and just i'll be right there so just pause the video and let it set it up all right guys so thank you for your patience you can see it says set up wizard is complete now you can simply go ahead and keep it checked and hit finish now this will go ahead and launch the control panel on certain microsoft windows you may have to restart your system and then launch your control panel from the start menu okay and now i can manage my services i have just two services apache and mysql so launch MySQL first and it's going to be running on 3306 that's the port number I can also go ahead and start my uh, Apache web server and I will have access to 
localhost you can see it here and from here php my admin to manage my mysql it's okay you can see it here you can also manually go ahead and type in localhost and it should be redirected to this page here you can check the php info so that's what you have but this is not available you can see php is not available here so it's not recognized similarly mysql it's not so this is what we are going to achieve extra in this video so what i'm going to do i'm going to put php and mysql to the systems path so go under xm and here we have php so go ahead and copy this one make sure you just put a uh, backslash here copy this everything and then go to windows menu and time variable you should get this edit system environment variable go to environment variables select path and hit edit add a new path so now php is going to be available we also want to add this mysql to the systems path so here is the mysql and then go under build just add a backslash copy everything now you can close it and select this path again edit add new and put it here right now if i go ahead and launch my command prompt i should have access to php you can see php 7.4 and actually is root and i don't have any password so i simply have to enter on the keyboard and i will be in my team so this is how you download and install php mariadb apache with xm web server on microsoft windows 10 xm server not web server alrighty so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below thank you for watching bye for now